Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much To Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. So Much To Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow because we discuss socially relevant things mixed with a splash of humor. If you know you have tissue paper feelings, this probably isn't the channel for you. But and however, since you're here, I just need for you to do two things. Hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and turn on that little bell so that you get the notification every single time that I go live or upload something new. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and I just wanted to introduce you to the Goalie Gummies if you're not already familiar. So this is the original Goalie Gummy. This is good for a burning belly fat, as well as curbing your appetite, right? It's just going to be your uh, for, for beauty, wellness, and nutrition. This is the super fruit. Then we have the all around uh, health from within. This is the green, the super greens. And then of course we have the ashwagandha. This is good for calming, relaxing, sleeping, anxiety, calming anxiety. The same ones, but these, this is for the chocolate lovers that are out there. So use my promo code, it's Craig the Writer Stewart. Visit www.goalie.com and the promo code is Craig the Writer Stewart. That's free shipping and of course 15% off. So I had asked you before we got out about um, you and Eric saying I love you. Do, do you realize? I know, right? We haven't had that. Oh yeah, um, I don't say that. I yet? think he said. I think he said to me, like, have you wanted to say it? I have. Well, why haven't you said it? Not lately. Though. Oh, but you've said it before. No. You've never said it. No. Is this somebody's mask? You don't want that on. Who's it on? was Carlton's mask. He left it in here and then one that my mother used. I said, that's Carlton's mask. She said, I don't even care. Yeah. We'll throw that away. Yeah, we throw it away. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to bring somebody out. So you've never said it, but you've wanted to say it before. I have wanted to say it before. Um, so why don't you say it, Ryan? Because I'm an OG, you know? Can't be going Wait, what was that hanging? I think they, they didn't see that. <laughs> I'm an OG. <laughs> Wait, do it again. Ah, ah. Oh, look at this gym right here. Did you notice there was a gym right there? It's been there for years. Oh, look at this little device. Oh, that's cute. What is that doing, I wonder? It's rolling back and forth. One less person you gotta employ. Yeah, I don't need that fucking service. I would love it. Then you'd be walking around here looking all gaunt and you may see it and the kids will swear. I would have on the crop kids will swear you have the AIDS. I would have a crop top. They'll take you past top. HIV and take you straight to AIDS. I will have a crop top, crop top song. I heard you the first two times you said it. You know, convince me about this crop And she top. moved like, I, we both said, well, we didn't even think she cared about losing weight because she moved, she dressed all nice all the time. Like, she looked good on her clothes. And she looked like she loved her weight. But I had no idea that she had desires of wanting to change her weight. And clearly she did. And um, But now it just doesn't, feel to me like she's as confident as she was when she was bigger. And um, and so I just wanted to have a face-to-face -face with her and have a heart-to-heart -heart and just kind of talk to her. You know, because I think sometimes when people have something like that or have something going on with them, whatever it is, people, their family or their friends will know or sense it but won't say anything because they don't want to offend the person or you know, feel like they're being inappropriate. But sometimes people are dying inside and they, they waiting for you to say something to them. They looking for somebody. To, and I'm not saying that's her case. I don't know. But because it's on my heart, I do want to talk to her and be like, um, you know, so how are you? You know, like, what what made you do it? Like, what, when did you decide? You know what I mean? Like, because I just didn't know. Like, I really, you know. And then she's separated now from her husband. And she has a daughter. And the daughter lives with the husband. That's very unusual. For the daughter to go live with the husband, and they separate. I've been there. Really? Your parents separated before, and you live with your dad. Your brothers too. Just you. You always trying to be different. <laughs> <laughs> so why'd you move with him and didn't stay with your mom? Is he going through the light? She did too. Right. Why monkey see, monkey do. I ain't going through the neighbor to pull my black ass up. Officer, you saw them white people go through the light and you ain't stopping. Not enough, but you're going to stop me. You just got to let it go. 
I think you better let it go Looks like another love T.K.O. I, I think it's T.K.O. I said T.K.O. That ain't what it sounded With a straw in your mouth, it sounded like you said T.K.O. I think I better let it go Looks like another love T.K.O. Yeah, you said K because you got the straw in your mouth First of all Now, if I feel like it when I edit this video I may go ahead and put the what I said the first time so y'all can hear it again just to make him look wrong as he can be. But I may not feel like doing all that, but we'll sound you just gotta let it go. I think you better let it go. Looks like another love. T A O Scott. Listen, no, Scott. Yeah, let's uh, you gonna call him? You can call him. I feel like that's something in his will how. Call Scott. What girl? What? Call Scott. Scott just signed up for pay for you. Say he already got his first thing. He just signed up yesterday. He just got his first, um, he got a taste test. <laughs> he is not playing. That's yeah. another thing about it. One, uh, it's been going to my spam. Oh, your your emails have been going to your spam? Oh yeah, you had to get that up out of there. Are you saying, Carlton said it's probably gonna be a, um, a good piece to change. And it's under contract. It is. Carlton said it was gonna end up. Stop it. That being a good piece of change because um his house is big and he's done some work over there. Hello. Yeah, I was given your number uh from a friend Scott who said that you had a cheaper whorehouse around the corner from him. He had the only And I was fans. calling the I'm sorry? It's only fans, man. Only fans. Only fans? No, he said that y'all were a low budget ho, ho house around the corner from him. He said he ran a high high skip high upscale uh establishment. Um the only whore that I know is Ryan. <laughs> and he is running a whore house, but he doesn't live in this community. Oh, okay. Well how do I reach Ryan? Hold on, let let let, he, let me he, Does he suck a good dick? He does. <laughs> and from what I understand he has good um Bujana? Yeah. Badussy. <laughs> Booty slash pussy. Randy. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and I'm inviting you to join my Patreon. Don't know what a Patreon is? It's my official video diary with only exclusive content that you won't see anyplace else. It's easy to join. Just visit patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. Here's what you'll find on my Patreon. A day in my life, whether that's dinner with friends or a typical work day. Live Q&As with members of my Patreon about each episode of the T.S. Madison experience and what I was really thinking. I'll even bring you on vacation with me. The video will make you think that you are right there. And last but not least, for all of my aspiring writers, I give you firsthand, one-on-one, -on -one, personalized attention, answering all of your questions about publishing and self-publishing. So what are you waiting for? Join now. Swipe up or visit www.patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Craig the Writer. Do it now. One of the best parts of life is when you can admit the truth to yourself about yourself. Cyberspace is a world where one can become something he isn't but everything he dares to be. I wasn't interested in getting attached to anyone, and I knew I wouldn't take anyone I met online seriously. I had multiple screen names to increase my chances of meeting someone attractive. The majority of the profiles noted HIV negative under status, but I knew better from the work I had done in the HIV community. I knew one out of three black gay men was positive. The messages I found in my inbox validated me in my depression. In some strange way, they reinforced that I was worthy and deserving. My days consisted of waking up and logging on to see how many messages had accrued overnight. 
Months passed before I got honest with my therapist about what was happening with me. And before I knew it, I heard myself say, I've been having sex with people I meet online. To listen to more of Words Never Spoken in Memoir, visit audible.com. I was involved briefly with a married man who believed he had the courage to leave his wife to be with me and to live his truth. This isn't the typical story of a married man promising to leave his wife for a secret lover. Rather, this is a story in part about a gay man who knew he was gay before he got married, but chose to marry a woman because he didn't know how to break free. Rocky and I met on a gay social media site three months after I returned to the East Coast to live and just 11 months after he was married. At the time we met, he was living and working in Dubai as a contractor for the government on a military base while his wife was stationed in Tallahassee, Florida, where they had a home. In one of the first messages he sent me, Rocky shared that he was married, but that he had regrets. He explained that he had come out to his mother and siblings when he was 18 years old. He said that to listen to more of One Thing for Certain, Two Things for Sure, a memoir continued, visit audible.com.